Why did I do that? Um, hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I do hair videos and life advice videos and these are the playlists right here everything on my channel is very organized you're welcome to sort through everything obviously if you clicked on today's video you're here for a hair video and i'm out of breath i'm out of breath because we are going to literally write everything in my closet all the curly hair products i've gathered thus far like in the last two years if you're new to my channel this is the result of a big chop that happened two years ago and it's so much product um but yeah I'm, I'm just gonna show you everything tell you something on what worked what didn't work and these are all things i bought with my coin you know a lot of hard work and um some of these i use often some of these i don't and i'm just gonna take you through that together i'm so excited to show you guys thank you for clicking on today's video make sure to show some love comments all that comment down below any products that you saw that you do use that you don't that you've heard of that you know anything anything let me know let me know what you think let me know what you think we're gonna go ahead and get started because it's a big ass box and i don't want to move too much y'all y'all oh my god where should we start where should we start i have a lot let's start with my og my number one girl i'm gonna put um throughout the video like close-ups and videos of this so that you guys can see what um you know take your notes screenshots all of that so i'm gonna push over right here have some space for that here but right now we're doing the sos cachos now this is in portuguese and i speak spanish so it's a bit hard for me to read but i tried this at my friend's house and it ate what she told me was it works as a styling cream and i did ask the lady at the brazilian store is this a cream or is it a conditioner like i need to know she's like it's a crema crema so i was like okay per so i know what that means so that's what she told me and it's called activador de cachos and i'm assuming that is curly hair activator and i really love this so much um it this is the salon line which i'm assuming means it's the biggest version that you can get smells amazing because when it comes to curly hair products the smell is very important to me like i don't play but it smells good it smells like grown woman it smells like sexy cute it's given like like expensive perfume and i love that so i recently just finished it but i also have the shampoo and conditioner of that i'll put pictures on the screen right here for you guys and i'm, I'm gonna say sorry in advance too because if the camera goes in and out of focus it's because i'm moving a lot but um that is definitely something that i use every day all of them well, not every day but you know every wash day i love using my sos gachos okay period and all of the products that i mentioned today just use your discretion when it comes to ingredients and knowing what works for you versus what doesn't work for you um i always get this like very not annoying but it's like these debates in my comments and my content not really on youtube but more so like tiktok and sorry if the camera's like blurry like hello it's always a constant like that's not good for you or that's good for you mm. or you don't know this and that and that and this and it's like guys so you know i always say do your research i'm not a professional all the products that i'm showing you today i'm just showing you that that's part of my collection like and i'm just telling you my honest review of them and if it works for me work for me if it doesn't it doesn't what works for me might not work for you so this is really just me putting you on game to literally everything i have owned my reviews on it and really just what it's cool was not like you know what i mean like i don't want you guys to feel like i am here to this doesn't replace like a visit to a salon or a curly hairstylist okay like i'm just showing you products that i have that are cool and that are not and that's about it guys so please like just give me that warning because some people like get very upset and feel as though i'm promoting bad hair products on purpose like i'm getting paid to do that or something no i'm just showing you what works for me and if it didn't work for you that's your personal situation you're welcome to share but share it in a way that's not like she's wrong because it's like your experience is not everyone's experience as mine is not everyone else's experience so just be respectful and kind and let's continue so she was trending she was trending this is the mile rosemary mint 
love her love her she definitely leaves a nice tingle on the scalp i love using this thing oh my god it really gives peppermint browners and if you guys know if you didn't know you can use peppermint you can use all browners on your hair as a and also sorry if i pronounce any of these wrong like i'm not the best with pronunciations <laughs> the best way i could describe the smell is really like i know it's rosemary mint but like it has another scent in there too it really does and the lather is good um avoid eye contact for sure because it she got her little sting she got her little sting but i love this maya and i also have the maya oil definitely co-sign it now the ozzy ozzy's line y'all are gonna see a lot of her in this video i love her i love her this is a recent one i got um my mother-in-law gave it to me it's a really good dupe for the weed ad gel which i'll show you in a second but so good if you see me looking down looking at the product but it's really good definitely don't have an issue with flakage with this i love it a lot and it smells really good it just smells like refreshing like you know what i mean like a nice refreshing smell matter of fact i need to throw some things out do you guys use dry shampoo this is something i used to own i don't know if jesus i mean I mean, you see it on camera if it works it works you don't it don't but i like to use dry shampoo for really for scent like that was really all i use it for i really don't know if it's good for curls or not y'all can let me know in the comments but this is the suave or suave professionals keratin infusion dry shampoo for all hair types keratin i don't know how much but yeah i don't really use this it's like pretty full so i have that in my collection here's the girl here's the girl i have spent a pretty penny on weed ad ever since my first curly hair haircut i was like wow i'm hooked like it really made my hair look a certain way that i've never seen before and i was like impressed i love it so this is the weed ad advanced climate control heat and humidity gel and yes i took this to dr and i can co-sign that heat and humidity gel climate control very much so yes i've been using it at home i live in massachusetts i don't really get crazy over here but so good so thin so watery it's kind of the same as like i told you this one it's really good it's really good and a little bit goes a long way which is perfect because it's very expensive it's very expensive i'm gonna let you know that right now this is like the perfect cheaper dupe because that is really good but really expensive moving right along i'm a i'm a shea moisture girl i'm a shea moisture girl this is the all day frizz control milk gel i do use a lot of frizz control frizz free products and i use a lot of milks a lot of milks my hair really likes those and the reason i know this is i did a porosity test so if you want to see what porosity i have how i got there all of that i'm gonna link my porosity video down below but this is the papaya in neroli i don't even know what neroli is neroli but it smells good <laughs> Let me, let me do a little this one's so good and i know i like a product when i let it get to this halfway point because i don't want to use it anymore because i know that i have let me see one i have two more uses of this that's how much how much product my hair needs is like it's given summer smell it's given like fruity it says fresh fruity floral and black so i love it it definitely helps for silky curls that's definitely something i need a lot of is silkiness and it does a job and i'm gonna put it to the side okay so here's another one see i don't let my products get to the end because i'd be so sad but this is the almond milk daily damage repair spray leave-in conditioner this is oh my god i'm gonna need this camera to focus hold on let me see is it focused guys i'm so sorry if it's not like i cannot stand this lens sometimes this is a carol's daughter i love carol and her daughter period because they be spitting they be spitting i don't know what is good with me i'm like let me use a little bit of everything the smell is like baby powder it's like baby a baby smell and the leave-in conditioner spray is like key like i love it it's so good this has almond milk aloe butter shea oil and it's a daily damage repair so it really they don't lie when it says made with love born in brooklyn and if it matters to you it has no petroleum petroleum <laughs> no mineral oil and no artificial colors so period all right i'm not gonna lie to you amazon told me it was recalled i'm gonna include it because i'm gonna be honest with y'all because i did try it at one point 
I did not look up why it's recalled or what, but this is the first time I tried a dry conditioner. It's instant moisture. I should throw this away because it's recalled, but it's conditioning level is a three and it conditions dry hair to control frizz. And can I tell you, it did work. It did work. You can feel it like right when you spray it too. And it smells, if you're feeling risky, buy it, but it smells so good. Like, you know what conditioner kind of about to hit when it smells good? And this one does i love it how sad how sad that it is um recalled i'm gonna look into that and see what why it's recalled but it says paraben free sulfate free and i love it it smells so good and i have a lot of it in there because i don't want to waste it so or carol's daughter because i told y'all i'm dead serious i love them like i told you guys look halfway this is the carol's daughter hair milk pro perfecting styling foam this definitely is like mousse i want to say they, it's like most most food mu hello it is like and if you see dust on it i do use my curly hair products my room is just dusty as hell i don't know why but it is a really cute little foam a cute little foam moment and it has a nice lightweight smell if it interests you it has no silicones no parabens no petrolatum no mineral oil and no artificial colors it says don't shake the bottle before use which i definitely just did on camera this is hair milk foam basically it's styling foam and i don't really use much of it because i'm not a foam girl i'm a gel girl but this definitely i've tried it on wet hair like a beach day pool day and it definitely kind of gave a vibe like a cute vibe you know but i really didn't use it that much because you know like i said i'm a gel girl so and we are stacking up my table right here more carol's daughter this is the carol's daughter hair milk again guys i love their hair milk this is the curl refresher spray these are all definitely the same line too the only one that's different is the almond milk this is the hair milk line that the other one was the the almond milk line the little like brown looking one then the orange one is like the hair milk line <laughs> sorry i have a cat yes yeah, nourishing conditioning and this is great for first control and this one you know is agave sweet almond sweet protein it's a nice mist again halfway full because i'm not trying to waste it it definitely smells so good i should put on need some of that it is that girl it is that girl and all of carol's daughter's products smell so good like period period okay so then we're gonna get a little bit crazy a little bit oh some product in there busted let me see if i can tell you which one this is the aussie this is one of my aussie products yeah i think it's the avocado do i have a problem how do i know that all right guys let me clean this up but this is the as i am this is a popular one this is the restore and repair jamaican black castor oil water now i use this in the shower and it does specify for hair types three and four okay period they said don't get it twisted yeah it's like a refresher like i really like the refreshers that are scented because it really like my hair needs a lot of water when i style it anyway so i feel like these products are perfect for that and this one is the jamaican black castor oil water and it's so good and it's a big one it's a big one but i love it it sprays well has a cute smell how would i describe it it's really just like a light scent, you know, like nothing crazy kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I really didn't expect to use all my freaking products on camera, but it's like a nice little like, mm, you know, nothing like crazy. Do you guys know what I mean by that? Like, a, mm, it's a hair product. That kind of smell? Yeah, no. Okay. okay. I didn't even know I had this. That is crazy. I need to clean out my stuff because I, I didn't even know. This is a Soft Sheen Carson Carefree Curl Curl Activator. It does say pleasant fragrance in the front and they're not lying when they say that because mm, it really smells like something out of a salon. Like that's the best way I can describe that. Put it in my hair to style and this is flammable apparently which that doesn't really sound good and i'm assuming it's the fragrances but um it really makes my curls look really fucking good i don't know if it's bad for me or not but it really makes my cur my curls look really really good and i guess i guess this was really popular back in the olden days okay back in the olden days but i love this i love this thing so cute this is like my 10th bottle 11th bottle my whole lifetime like i love it so much okay, here's another brand that i really love i really really love them the cake naturally Lux beauty um this is the curl friend line and this is the defining curl cream it's frizz fighting curl defining glossy silk styling now i've talked about this before on my channel she's got a little like a smell 
a weird smell but this has avocado oil soybean oil shea shea butter and i'm assuming it's a soybean oil that makes it like smell weird but if you guys must know it is cruelty free and vegan but it has this like it don't smell like cake to me how does like smell like oh i don't know it's not my favorite smell but again she is actually if i can see with the light all going up to it's like there's this much left and i just hate wasting my product like i hate when it has to end because then i gotta throw it away and you guys know what i mean like mm. so this is who was leaking in there which i will say d plus on the packaging d plus on the packaging because it's just a spout there's no lid cover and i always fear that it's gonna leak and that's exactly what happened wouldn't you guys know but this is the aussie's three minute miracle moisture deep conditioner this is the avocado and jojoba oil i love it i love it i love it i love it i definitely do you're supposed to do you know three minutes and then rinse it out and i definitely follow that rule i love this thing so much y'all didn't tell me this whole episode i had my little straps out Come on, I love this so much. Like, like I said, it smells really good, like your standard standard hair product. Does it smell like avocado? Well, avocado don't really get a smell, so. And that is my first time, my second time buying that product, so I definitely co-signed. This one has changed my life. This is the Weed Ad Advanced Climate Control again, but this is their Feather Light Styling Cream. I'm gonna try to find a picture of the first time that I wore this, and my hair looked you see the smile on my face like i mean it like it it was so good it was so good and again it's like right at the end it smells so good it kind of has like a manly smell like a little musky kind of smells like your hispanic father if you guys know what i'm talking about but i love this like hard eyes but it is i think this is 20 dollars. this little thing yeah and this is how much product i need per wash so it's like one two three four yeah but very silky very smooth very good this is 5.7 fluid ounces and like i said it's a styling cream and it definitely helps with the frizz a bunch a bunch i love we dad or you dad however you pronounce it it's that girl we are back with carol's daughter let me clean the bottom of this this is the cocoa cream line so this is their intense moisture this is considered curl perfecting water cocoa mist um, it's coconut water, mango, and papaya. I don't really use much of this, which I need to... Sometimes I just have products that kind of sit in the back because I just forget about them. But um, it's okay. I'm not really a fan of the smell, and I think that's why I don't use it that much. It kind of has like a warm, definitely coconut, but more like vanilla, more like hazelnut smell. And I don't really... I'm not really a big, huge fan about that. Intense moisture you know i do love it it is a cute little moment yeah no complaints no complaints i don't really like I, as you can see i don't really care for her that much but she's there she's there she gets used she's like for a specific occasion that's why i don't really use her that much i wouldn't say she it's like a horrible product but she's there she gets the job done you know you know what i'm saying this is a recent pickup this is a tgin i hope i'm pronouncing that right um god it's natural or is it thank god it's natural i don't know why my local stores have these goddamn security tags on them ruining the vibe of the video i'm just gonna put that back on so tjm this is their sweet honey hair milk um it has raw honey agave nectar avec meal bruh i don't even know what that is nectar de gav i didn't pronounce that right this is a light weight moisturizer and definitely lightweight definitely gives the same vibes as hair milk oh, it is hair milk and i've used it twice and i'm scared to keep using it because it's so good it is really good you use it when you style and it says you can also use it as a setting cream to create soft smooth and shiny strand twists and twists out so that's good smell wise mm, yeah it's a really cute smell it doesn't smell like any of my other products it smells like a cute little victoria's secret spritz spritz spray and just so you guys know no sulfates no parabens no lino linolin no petroleum oh this one says petroleum no mineral oil no artificial colors or animal testing period tgin yeah she's a new one i've added to my roster and she's not that bad she's really she's really a cute woman okay because i want you to think i'm just you know choosing sides but um they're saying that all my products are good but this is the rice water moisturizing milk this is my own um i'm not really a huge fan of her 
I used her halfway and I kind of was just like, okay, moving on. Um, rice water, if you guys know, actually really does stink in real life. So I'm kind of like hesitant to believe that any rice water is really in this. Again, this is no parabens, no sulfates, no paraffins, no mineral oil, no DEA. I don't know what that is. I got to look that up. No animal testing, but it smells like oranges, honestly. Moisturizing milk again, but it's rice water collection. And it says it's excellent for length retention. Sorry, guys. I don't know where I just left off. But like I was saying, um, this is the... Hold on, let me make sure my mic is still recording too. Like I said, I don't know where the camera cut me off. But it's like... She's a moment. Like I said, she smells like orange, oranges. And I don't really... Maybe it's like the tangerine smell that's kind of throwing me off. You know what I mean? It's like it's whatever it's nothing i'm like i go crazy for if you know what i mean there's that more carol's daughter i thought ozzy was gonna take the lead but carol's daughter is really in there this is also let me tell y'all carol's daughter was ranked best of beauty for allure allure the beauty expert 2013 period but this is carol's daughter hair milk um this is the leave-in moisturizer she is that girl she is that girl she's a silent cream to me honestly same with the smell this one smells like literally smells like if you guys are throwback if you were a baby and you had baby dolls like a certain looking one i'm put on the screen this is exactly who that looks like <laughs> who that looks like no what it smells like like it smells just like that and um it's not something i run for but it's definitely a good backup like i have more curling creams that i run to first but she's definitely a moment she deeply moisturizes improves and softens hair prevents frizz this is again agave shea soybean you know what's crazy the one that is this the one that has okay so this one's avocado oil and this one has agave and it has shea butter and the soybean but she has this smell <laughs> I don't know what you know but and i think this one has a strong smell too because i don't really run for her i don't i don't but it's cute it's a moment it's very white so it's kind of like teetering on the thicker product side which i kind of refrain from because the thicker the product the more i get like that cake build up white flakiness like my hair doesn't flow like that if i have a very thick curly hair cream on if that makes sense again the mayo this is the rosemary mint this is the leave-in conditioner of that shampoo i showed you guys same idea um i will say i'm not a fan of the spout and as you can see the wrinkles around my freaking bottle it's just really thick in here and i like to water down my conditioner sometimes when they're really thick like that because sometimes i'm pumping and this is like very full still i'll pump it and it's like so hard to get out and it's like hello sorry for my runny nose I, there's a lot of dust so again it's not that i don't use these products my room is just very dusty and my cat be in here harassing all of us all day but like it's the same as the, literally as a shampoo but it's like fused with biotin supports long healthy hair like i told you guys this one doesn't have that like you see how thick it is i don't know if you can tell that one has the same it doesn't have the same um like that mint situation going on where it like tingles it, it really doesn't i don't know why but the shampoo does the shampoo definitely does y'all we're only like halfway done and i need to clean that i'm so glad i'm kind of doing this because i can just clean everything because there's like this goop of cream at the bottom it's like when did that happen why didn't y'all say something but this is the shea moisture i was rocking heavy with this for a while but this is the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil this is their strengthen and restore treatment mask this is the this has shea butter peppermint apple cider vinegar i don't really smell the apple cider vinegar and i know that might deter deter some people from using it but it smells so good it's just like cute little brown color and i love it it's creamy it's thick and it doesn't stay on my scalp like lumped up so that's why i really love it and it has jamaican black castor oil shea butter and peppermint but again halfway used because i don't want to waste the whole thing so i was rocking heavy with cake for a while but the smell was just like what is that you guys know what i mean so over here um i don't really use a lot of these but this is actually cleansing conditioner let me know in the comments down below if you're a cleansing conditioner kind of girl because i'm really not um but this is filled halfway more than half i did give it a try a few times and it feels weird like i'm just like like is it really cleaning my head you guys know what i mean but you know this has shea butter sweet pea peptide bamboo extract you have to leave it on your hair for a few minutes for a deeper treatment don't over rinse cleanse condition and restore your hair in one step i don't know what do you guys think i 
maybe i haven't been using this right or what but it's considered a one-step wonder renew and restores and revives i don't know i don't know but same thing it, it cake is really consistent with their smell product and all that i don't know if they have any more stuff but i feel like from what i've seen it's all the same look but let me know down below if you use cake and what you think of it all right guys sorry i'm i'm like still going but we have here the same as the other one i think this is the same one now hold a damn minute is this the same one jamaican cassette cassette mastery mask i am ridiculous yeah this is the same one i literally have enough for a whole bottle all right so i'm gonna definitely put this in here and like get her done okay this is a new pickup actually this is my weed ad defrizzing conditioner this is from the advanced climate control line that they have i love first of all the pink on here is adorable i love that color pink it really does its job we that always does a job again with like that baby smell but more like rosy you know what i mean um it's a conditioner has great lather great lather but i don't want to waste it because it's so expensive it's so good and i've only used like this much here but it does this thing it does its thing it's very like silky creamy not creamy but like smooth like you know it's like it's really good for conditioning so i love her i do i really love her and here's another hair milk and she's at her wit's end too i need to just bite the bullet and finish these like i'm like realizing a bad toxic trick that i have with like hair products so this is my hair milk four in one combing cream um i don't really i'm not that kind of girl that combs before okay sorry i was trying to figure out what the hell that smell i don't really like that <laughs> um this is a four in one combing cream for curls coils kinks and waves and you're supposed to use it i believe before even going in the shower like to detangle your hair oh use on wet hair to detangle to find before combing or styling yeah i want to say it's a conditioning cream like a cream like a conditioner after you get out the shower i've clearly used a lot of it i use it as a styler honestly but it kind of feel like for this i feel the same about that the hair milk the leave-in moisturizer it's kind of like mm, it's a moment it looks like a lot of their hair milk line i don't really care for i'm glad we're doing this because i'm realizing things about myself so i'm definitely probably not buying that again that line because they're they're i do like it though no i really don't looks like the cocoa cream is the one i like more am i sure about that we'll discuss we'll discuss but this one has agave keratin and olive oil maybe that's the spot i was getting the olive oil i was like do i mind using it no i do love the, the sprout that it has a little spout like a you know what i mean it's really good but um she's not horrible but she's just not like the one i gravitate towards right now maybe it's because i'm in my i'm in my weed ad phase so that would explain almost done this is the maui moisture hair care i love maui's shampoo and conditioners this is the lightweight curls and flaxseed conditioner it has flaxseed coconut water citrus oil silicone free made with 100 percent aloe as the first ingredient i love her again where it's the same my same toxic trait trying not to finish using them i really love their scents like they are so good with the scents like they hit the mark every time has great lather perfect like i definitely co-sign them this is a brand that was recommended to me by somebody i used to know and it is Neutrogena's Clarifying Shampoo. I'm not really a big fan of this one. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not a fan of this scent. This one, the shampoo with the grapefruit. Um, I like the clear one that they have and I couldn't find it. So I just got a like second option. But it's a cute pink color. It's a cute pink bottle. I love grabbing it. I love it because it's a cute little shape, cute color. But no, because why did I just go this whole episode realizing that video that i haven't even been giving these a rating out of 10 i mean i think you guys can get the vibe i think you guys can tell what i'm what i'm rocking with what i'm not again sorry for the blurriness let me see if this works on goddamn camera Ugh, you be trying me but yeah guys the neutrogena is like really to do numbers it's really given three out of ten not gonna lie to you um just the pink grapefruit one the other one though smells so good and it does a job i feel like the other one does it even better job than clarifying than the um this one and it just really has that neutrogena smell like facial cleanser which is like 
are you here for my hair or my my face like what are we really doing you guys know what i mean so again i really wouldn't mind if i finish this it's also halfway like my other my other ones but it's not my favorite it's really not i'm sorry i'm sorry neutrogena i love you no but this is a good brand for clarifying shampoo so definitely give it a try but i would say i would just buy the clear one next time and not all right guys so this is my first time trying the pantene's gold series same thing used up to here it's a leave on detangling milk infused with argan oil detangles and softens curls for easy styling and it's for natural transitioning and relaxed hair and i love her i love her i really 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 avoid using her because of how good it smells mm, it smells like bubble gum but like in a good way like bubble gum and flowers yeah i really like this one no complaints definitely like eight out of ten eight out of ten and the packaging is so cute i love a, like a cute little moment like a little character like in her purple hair and stuff is this the same thing oh my god yeah this is the same product the same hair milk filled up to the same amounts can y'all see that they both are like right here that's crazy now i'm just talking shit because i said that this ain't really it that is crazy okay let's give it a number it's like eight out of ten eight out of ten and it's eight out of ten because it's just so creamy seven out of ten it's very creamy and that's what kind of deters me from it for a while she was my girl but then along the way i found more products you guys know what i mean like you have a product that you use a lot of and you buy two of and like as you can see but then eventually you try new things and you're like, oh, like this kind of gives me what I thought this other product was giving me, but it's not. But this product doesn't suck, so I'm going to leave it to the side. That is so funny and embarrassing. Here's my notable mention. I know she's not a product, but this hair mister, girls, curly hair girls, get the hair mister. I'm not playing with y'all. Don't say I didn't tell you. Why did I do that? I don't like hair being messed up. I love that hair mister and only fill it up with water bottle water all right guys so we have like five more left but um this is the cake beauty the curl whip this is a mousse for sure i'm not really a mousse girl i'm a gel girl like i told you guys so it's the same as like the foam you know it's it is filled up to here so i have used it a bit um the nozzle really sucks i don't know what maybe i got a faulty one but it comes out like watery and then it foams up which i don't know if mousse is supposed to do that and i know it i know it does that a little bit but the way this does it is like girl and actually it does smell the best of all the products so yeah like no matter what i shake it's just very leaky no complaints to her but it does foam up like the little bit you put on your hand it foams up really big and it does do its job it does foam up and it doesn't really give that much of a crunch um it defrizzes defines it's not sticky no crunch volume yep it definitely cosigns there i'm um, curl boosting i'm not too sure because i'm a gel girl like i told you guys she does the job she does what she gotta do now these are my more controversial items i own some girls be like that's bad for your hair listen i'm dominican i was raised on certain things they seem to work for me they haven't given me any bad luck yet um i don't know i don't know this is a silicone mix moroccan argan oil one and i have one thing about the dominican gurus they're gonna have the tratamiento that smell like like hell yeah but this one has macadamia oil and keratin the hair treatment you're supposed to wash your hair and apply it Leave it on for three to five minutes and for best results cover your hair with shower cap wrap it in a hot wet towel and then rinse out that's the problem with y'all somebody left a rude ass comment the other day on my video and they said silicone mix is literally silicone it's so bad for your hair 
and it literally just leaves a bunch of silicone thick stuff on your hair and does nothing for you although i might might, might she might be right i might agree with her but the thing is is yes it's a thicker product but you need to be clarifying your hair if you're not i cannot help you like you know what i'm saying like this is known to be like really oily and like that's why you need to clarify your hair guys like you can't just be putting all these products in and not eventually giving your hair a detox because then your curls are gonna literally look like and then you're like why does my hair look like that it's like girl you're not clarifying your hair comment down below if you know what i'm talking about because some people be in my comments being so rude and it's not that i'm trying to say use this because i want my curls to be better than yours and i want your curls to look ass no i'm here to help you like stop being like that here's another controversial one it's, it's, it's like these are my um controversial but i grew up on it so i really love it and i don't know if i i don't know how to let it go and it hasn't done anything bad to my curls this is this is what these are this is a serum cosmetics now they had this curly cream i could not find it but i love this so this is a silk protein um, so leave-in conditioner, Serum 21. So this is hydrating, right? It says, after washing, apply a hazelnut-sized amount of Serum 21 evenly to the hair. Pay attention to the ends and damaged areas. Comb. Then apply 0.17034 fluid ounces to badly damaged hair. Leave on five minutes. Rinse and comb. To avoid breakages due to tangles, apply a hazelnut-sized amount. It helps protect your hair from chlorine, sun, and seawater. I love it. I love Serlum 21. It's a professional line, apparently. I had this in my house growing up. I don't really know if it's necessarily Dominican. In Barcelona. Yeah, it smells to die for, though. Like, y'all, I can't even begin to explain. Like, it smells so fucking good. Love her. I, I co-sign her. She has given me zero problems to this day another controversial one but i grew up with this is the og this is the og silicone mix and she smells just as good as the moroccan one. Ooh, my grandma used to have said our house i would be going in in the summer something about <sighs> using this my hair smells so good but yeah um you're supposed to wash your hair towel dry apply leave on for two to three minutes and then rinse out hasn't given me any issues really guys um it's supposed to be a hair treatment to restore the health shine and softness of dry damaged and weak hair now it makes sense if your hair is dry if this has a lot of like oily stuff as to why it would like weigh your hair down but it's a hair treatment like you're not supposed to use it every day and it's considered an intensive treatment here it says in spanish tratamiento capilar intensivo intensive so it hasn't caused me any, any issues use with discretion like i said i'm not here to ruin your hair i'm here to just help you show you my journey and hopefully what works for me hopefully works for you to make it easier for yourself but if it don't work for you that's fine that's why we're here together to just figure it out okay and i got two more controversial ones hold on just kidding i have one more controversial i think i have a yeah my 10 in one i'll put it on the screen the 10 in one but she fell on her way over here so i'm not picking her up but this is a crece pelo now y'all gonna call me crazy for this and i don't believe in a lot of products claiming to grow your hair but i feel like the crece pelo has done something for me i don't know i don't know i mean of course the smell so good and i got the big jar for a reason i mean y'all know what i'm saying and basically you're supposed to apply this after shampooing let it act for 15 minutes and then you retire with plenty of water you're supposed to supposedly helps grow your hair it says the first Fitil therapeutic natural treatment that involves the use of natural plants for hair growth. This innovative formula provides extracts and 100% natural assets necessary for a healthy hair, avoiding excessive flaking, adding nutrients to return health, beauty, vitality, flexibility, and softness to the hair, helping it grow. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. It gives me that it does do that. I might be biased, I might just be having a placebo effect but all i can say is it smells really fucking good and it really does leave my hair like besides that besides that right this my hair feeling very bouncy very soft smelling amazing i do like it i like it a lot i don't use it every day like i don't use all the controversial products every day i use those maybe like once or twice every month every other month this is good for like a once in a while and i co-sign i co-sign 
so for a cheaper product and this was definitely something Ooh, i have not i've barely been using this girl she's an oldie but a goodie um this is the african pride olive miracle anti-breaking formula leave-in conditioner daily treatment hair strengthener i like her she it's kind of like the hair milk for me it's kind of like oh she used to be bomb but then i found other products that do it for me but she's cute she definitely gets the job done she's kind of gives like hair milk vibes but like creamy still and it does last very good it does last good i'm just not really a fan of the smell it don't smell like the cake product but it's got a little smell just a little one just a little one um I got a full jar of that and I definitely got that just in case that my other ones finish first. So I definitely see there's a lot of products here I need to, you know what I'm saying, get to using. But let me show you. Yeah, literally like four more products and I think we're good. I'm looking around the room to make sure I don't have any lingering products that I use. No. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, okay. First things first, I just made a video on this. I don't know if it's going to be out before this or after, but this is my Amla oil. As you can remember, I told you guys you don't need a lot to go far. Y'all, this was like filter right here. I used only this much and smell it again because I haven't smelled it in a while, but. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She does the job. She gets it done. She does what she says she does. Of all the oils I've owned, I've owned tea tree oil, Jehovah oil, and peppermint oil for my hair, and the Mayel one. Mayel oil comes first, and this one will come second, I want to say, and the rest come, like, after that. Because she does her job. She does. She knew what she was doing with that. <laughs> Watch my Amla oil to get my review on that, actually, because that's more detailed. But she's a, she's a moment. She's a moment. Now for shampoo and conditioner because i know this matters too i have been using my aussies my aussies my aussies right here what you're seeing i ran out of the shampoo for this so shockingly this is the miracle moisture conditioner this is the avocado one like i showed you guys i have the deep conditioner somewhere too i had the shampoo at some point but these are this is the size i buy all of my shampoo and conditioners because i don't be playing I do not be playing um and then another one that i have i like to have options because i like my hair to switch up and scent like something about using the same shampoo and conditioner for like four months straight really aggravates me and i need variety so this is the miracle curls aussie as well this is the coconut jojoba oil version um same thing same thing but the avocado one i find definitely gives my moisture and this one gives more like silkiness this is the three minute curls you know three minute miracle just like the just a deep conditioner just like the avocado one but this is just a bigger bottle i love my hair products but yes guys that was literally all of my hair products i own to existence to this day let me know what you think do you use any of these do you not do you co-sign any of these are there any products that you're like girl stop using that right now like hell no um what do you genuinely think i'm so curious to know and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I feel like I just like let you into like my little world of like this thing on my head. Like <laughs> it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. I'm gonna definitely send this video to my sister too. Cause she's always asking me, what should I buy? What should I buy? I'm like, here girl, here it is. This is my whole roster. But um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope it was entertaining. I hope you got your notebook, journal, everything. I hope you wrote down everything you're going to use. Can't wait to put these back and clean this up because I made a mess. But um, it's crazy because I'm looking at this like I have enough products. But in my head, I'm like, I don't have enough products. But I do. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. But as you can see, um, I use a lot of hair milks, silky products, thin products not too many creams and that's what i have found has worked for me on my journey so far um but yeah guys if you want to see more about my big chop journey i have a whole playlist of hair videos you can see it watch all the videos you can see the progression it's very cute it's adorable um but thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you watch all the way i'm so happy to share this with you like no gatekeeping here ever 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 ever, ever. i hate that i hate that so much we're not doing that on my channel at all so if there's more products that from what you saw like we were like oh she would definitely love these and these let me like tell her what she should get because she would if she loves that then she must love these let me know because i love recommendations um share this video with your friends if their hair looks like mine and you feel like they're struggling and you know or if your hair look like mine i hope it was helpful there
period that's all i'm hoping i hope this video was helpful i'm assuming it's gonna be really long but i hope that it was worth the watch i hope you learned something and all of my products i want to say they are if they're not really five out of tens at least the least would be like sevens sevens and up and i really enjoyed filming this with you guys anyways but thank you for watching make sure to show some love before you go and i love when you guys always watch my videos but if you want to see more hair videos like i said i have a playlist if you want to see more of me and other locations i'm always on tiktok posting little hair tips i'm on pinterest posting more hair tips i'm on facebook like i'm on everything i'm on a lot of things so i need to go drink some water because i've been talking to y'all for like an hour straight so thank you for watching today's video again and i can't wait to see you in the next one